Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Nyasia J. And for all my girls, I'm glad you're turning. Hi, girl. All right, guys. So today we are doing fall fashion trends 2024. I'm going to be reading off my phone. So if you guys see me looking down, just know that's what I'm doing. Um, with these, I'm also attaching images somewhere here, here. Or even like videos to show you guys like examples of what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So the first is call this like power dressings and tailored suits. Now, for me, tailored suits has always been a thing, even when it's not it's not in season, not in style. I always love a nice structured blazer. Even with the um, shoulder pads, I always love that. A very well constructed blazer and suit pants set. Just like my favorite. Now, you can either do a sleek look or oversized look and just make sure that it's tailored um, nicely, maybe like slung back, um, very like expensive looking buttons. Um, you can also do a lot of neutral tones, beige, gray, and black, and also burgundy or um, Bordeaux. Those That color has made a big comeback within the times, but you can always do any type of pantsuit blazer and just dress it up with a pump, dress it up with a sneaker. There's so many variations of how you could rock this. You just have to go with what's your style, but blazers and suit pants or suit pants in general are always timeless classic fashion for me. All right, the next is gonna be statement out outerwear. Now, when we say statement outerwear, this is basically like coats or jackets. So we can do trench coats, capes, <sighs> obsessed love capes, oversized jackets and bold colors. You can do like cobalt, cobalt blue, like that deep rich blue burnt orange colors, deep plums, going back to that maroon, maroon, dark cherry color. And you can also um, like define that with different textures. So you can do wool, leather, faux fur, actual fur, if that's your thing. Chef's kiss, always looks really, really good. Um, and you can always pair the trench coats. If you're going for like a loud power statement, you can always do Pants and suit jacket with a nice trench. But that's if that's your thing. Um, also, again, I'll add pictures of it around here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Number three, <clears throat> sheer fabrics and layering. Now, this has like been a thing back in the 90s, early 2000s. We did a lot of layering, but now it's like coming back out. So. I see now a lot of people are doing like sheer tops and dresses and they would layer them. Um, also doing like peekaboo skirts or peekaboo boots, peekaboo dresses with like a color, like it's long and then short. And then it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm gonna just put a picture up so you guys can see. Um, but they've been doing this with making sheer skirts that's maybe like multi-layered, like you'll have a, um, fabric underneath or like a printed fabric underneath and then layer it like a chiffon to like get more contrast to the um garment i've been seeing a lot of that come back so i'm very excited for that um next number four is going to be leather leather everything leather has been having us in the chokehold for in the fashion in fashion for the longest, like even back in the 90s, men used to wear leather pants and that's starting to come back and I freaking love that. I love seeing a guy with the nice leather pants, like bring that back. Not like cowboy style, but you know, like I'm in a 90s love video, I'm Donald Jones <laughs> type of vibe. So with the leather everything, leather skirts, leather coats, leather pants, accessories, and the traditional colors that we love, olive burgundy cream chocolate colors <sighs> not so black you know black is always timeless goes with anything but those colors with leather love that just make sure it's not cheap it could be pleather but look nice but make sure it's not cheap like plasticky looking leather but you guys know what i mean um number five 
is gonna be monochrome neutrals. So with this, you can do a head to toe look with a single neutral color. Um, so just like beige, gray, camel, brown, those type of colors. And your outfit is like all one color or within the family of that color. I always love dressing monochromatic. I don't know, it's just my thing. It's not for everybody, but if you know how to do it, you do it. Next is number six, which is wide leg pants and relaxed silhouettes. Now, I've always been a wide leg girly, boot flare, flare cut. Even when it wasn't popular, I just think it's so cute. It makes your legs look really long and slim. And I love, 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 love a wide leg pants with the square toe heel or kitten heel. I'm sorry, not a square toe, a triangle toe. <sighs> Chef's kiss. It's just like a little peekaboo, like a little triangle sticking out of a pants. I think that's so freaking cute. I always love that. Um, goes back to 90s fashion, 2000, you know, like video vixen type of vibes. Love that. So with the wide leg, you could do comfortable loose fitting pants from Palazzo to wide leg denim. Um, and then tailor it with like a blazer. That's always cute. Or with a fitted top. Or even a sweater just depends on how you dress it and how you like to dress on your own. But that's always a staple for me. Um, next is going to be futuristic metals. Now you guys know silver, gold, metallics, rose gold. Those can always be intermingled into your um, wardrobe. You can do, I know a lot of people are starting to do like silver skirts, but don't make it look cheap. You can always do it from like skirts to shirts to give like a more futuristic vibe. Um, but it really just depends on the person. If you don't like silver, you don't like wearing gold like that, I wouldn't recommend. But you can always, if you want to like experiment with it, always try to do like a little, um, like an accessory, like a bag. Or even to start off with like a bag and a shoe. And then you can go for the louder things like the whole outfit or outfit being that type of situation. All right, number eight, Max Mill Millis. <laughs> I am butchering this. Maxim maximalist the maximalist prints meaning like bold prints so i know you girls have been seeing that cheetah is black or like is it cheetah either cheetah or leopard or like bold cat print that has been coming back out i've been seeing a lot of denim with it and it looks pretty cute you just gotta know how to dress it um they're even doing florals geometric shapes abstract art I'm always like that on like shirts or skirts. It's really like cool because it's kind of like a painting on your clothes. <laughs> so yeah, you can always mix mix those if you're feeling funky. You can do a clash up to make a bold statement. Um, it's just really your fashion sense and how you know how to dress it and if you can actually pull it off. But yeah, that's definitely um, number eight. So with number nine, we have knitwear sets. Um, this is for like the cozy knitted two-piece sets. They're cozy but stylish. You can transition them from like cool loungewear and going out to even elevated styles. Um, you can do matching sweaters, skirts, or even pants like in those bold autumn colors or fall colors, wine, Bordeaux, chocolate, black, burnt on, or even caramel. Um, so yeah, knitwear sets and nowadays I've noticed a lot of companies are making more knitwear sets just like elevated pieces like you can get like an off the shoulder sweater type of um, top and they actually make skirts to match it. I think that's so freaking cute because we need that in fashion. Um, knitwear sets you can wear to the airport, knitwear sets you can wear out to dinner. Like you can always make those elevated pieces with accessories and all that stuff so Definitely check into that. And our number 10. I feel like this never went out of style because chunky boots has always been a thing. But number 10 is chunky boots and loafers. I have been seeing an influx of those everywhere. Designers, luxury designers, Target, Steve Madden, they've been creating their own chunky boot. So it's a chunky lug sole boot and platform loafers. Um, they give you like more of a edgy contrast to feminine outfits, but I always felt like they've been in style. Um, 
chunky boots with like the thick sole that you can always dress up or dress down. Um, you can wear it with a pair of baggy jeans if that's like your style. Or you can even wear it with like a cute little pleated skirt and then you got chunky boots like for that type of vibe. But you have to be that type of girl. Um, you know, Doc Martens never been out of style. People still wear them. I even still want a pair and I always did, but I just never got it. Um, Steve Madden has nice leather chunky boots. You know, they're like high fashion designers make chunky boots and loafers. So Gucci too. So you can never go wrong with that. It's just how you dress it and how you style it. And all these things you can take that, take it with a grain of salt. If it's not your thing, don't do it. If you're into fashion and you love mixing or experimenting, then you can definitely always give it a try. Or start off small and then build yourself up. You know, like fashion is whatever you want it to be. Whatever you make it, just make sure you're comfortable and you're cute. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, those are our 10 top fall fashions. And I hope you guys had fun with your girl. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.